In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to brighten up and create contrast in your photos in Photoshop. You can see that we have this nice model in the middle and she's looking out, which is really awesome. And it's very desaturated. It's a very, you know, monotone sort of image, not too saturated, low contrast, not too bright. And it's sort of taken in the afternoon because you can see the sunset in the background. And this is kind of cool. It's a really great image. And it's got like a nice bokeh effect in the back as well. So sometimes when you take photos, maybe you want this effect, but we want to try and, you know, increase the contrast and see how we can maybe change it up and give it more clarity. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just unlock the layer. And typically what I can do is add adjustment layers. So if you go to the right hand side, you can cl click this little button and then we've got some options. So number one, I'll click on brightness and contrast. So typically I like to brighten up my photos a bit more. So if you bring it down, you can see it makes it heaps dark, but I like to brighten it. Not too much because then it will get overexposed. Then what I want to do is bump the contrast up. We want to do it about halfway. We don't want to go too much, as you can see. It still looks kind of good, but we don't want to overdo it. And you can see low contrast. You can see it's very like chilled and laid back. So I want to probably bring it up maybe around 65. So that's kind of cool. So we can see the before and after already. It's looking interesting. Then what I want to do, I want to click the same button. And then I want to click on hue and saturation. So with my hue and saturation, what I want to do is bump the saturation up a little bit. Not too much because you do that and it will go crazy. If we bring it down, that'll be black and white. But I'm just going to bring it up a little bit, as you can see there, which is cool. And this is just to the master, as we got here. She's sort of got like this um, light lipstick here. So we can also play around if we go to the magentas and maybe bumping that up as well. You can see her lips are going to start to glow a bit more. As you can see there, kind of like that. I'm just going to zoom back. So just added a bit more pink here, which is kind of cool. It makes it pop a little bit more. So beautiful. We've added a, a hue. We've had a brightness and it's already looking amazing. Once I'm sort of like happy with a little bit of those edits, I'm going to start to sharpen some of the images. So I want to sharpen more of her eyes and her face. So make sure my layer is selected on my female model here. I want to go to the top left and go to filter. I'm going to go down to sharpen. And typically what I like to do is go to Smart Sharpen. This will give me more control on what areas I can actually sharpen, right? I can zoom in and I can zoom out as well. So you can see here, I can zoom in and see how much this is going to sharpen her. So I can decrease the amount, increase the amount. You can actually click Custom if you have a preset. But for me, I don't want to go too much, but I just want to, you know, play around. So maybe play around with 100%. The radius will increase the grain of it. So you can see if you do it too much, it goes like crazy. So make sure you don't go too hard with that. But I'm also paying attention to here, but also looking at the image as well. So I think like five pixels is cool. And the noise is the, the fine dots, as you can see, like all these little fine dots. This like sort of blurs it, blurs it out. But I don't mind the noise in this image. It's kind of nice. So maybe go like 20% ish. That's fine. You can also play around with the shadows as well if you want to play around with that, but I'm going to leave that. And then I'm going to press OK. And this will just overall sharpen everything. We can also add some more vibrance to it. So I like clicking vibrance and just going to bump that up. So you can see overall it'll, it'll give like that more bit more color on the edges there, which is kind of nice. And then for finally, I will add some photo filters. So typically what you can do is you can have these filters so I can Scroll down here and you can play around to get sort of a vibe, sort of a, a mood and it adds like a little nice touch. You've got violet, magenta, red, blue. There's heaps of different ones. I, sound, I kind of like this cool one I had before. Was it the red one? Yeah, I like the red and you can increase the density. But what you want to do is you only want to have it like slightly just slight, maybe like 25%, which is looking cool. It adds a nice touch to it. And I think that is really cool. We've added a lot of details here. And if I turn all the layers off, you can see that's the original. And then with all the layers on, you can see the difference, how much more detail we have. 
it's popping more and it just looks so much more interesting and i feel like we can add one more layer i just want to blur the outside and make her face pop so first make sure you don't apply it to the layer we need to actually do it on its own layer so i'm going to click on the a new layer and i actually want to convert this to a smart filter so i'm gonna go to the top left click the layer click on convert to smart filters so now this layer is a smart filter and you'll see the little icon pop up there now what i can do is click filter blur gaussian blur and i can increase it not too much maybe like six pixels press ok and this will add a layer with a vector mask and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my layer mask or vector mask on the right hand side. And you can see it's all white. I'm going to press B for my brush and I'll get the, just a, the default brush. And then I'll select the black color. Right. And you can press X to flip the color. So you make sure you got the black selected, not the white. And I'm going to start to paint. So you can see that. Boom. You can see the blur there and it's coming out on her eyes. And what I'm going to do is start to paint in her face like this so I'm just left clicking slowly lightly as we have there and then I can paint her hair as well because you know her hair is one of the key things as well here and it's okay if some of the hair at the back is a bit blurred that's cool I'm just tapping the mouse as you can see there and I think that's amazing so if I turn the blur off you can see her jacket and some of the uh, parts down here are blurred so it just adds a nice effect and it gives the focal point on her face it just makes it stand out a lot more so I feel like you know with all these effects gone and that we've gone from this to this and I think that looks beautiful so thanks so much for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial hit that like button and leave a comment if you like these type of tutorials because it lets me know that you want to see more of them remember to subscribe for more amazing graphic design content every week I'll talk to you soon have an awesome one